Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. In the past 48 hours, the Martin County Sheriff's Department has arrested 12 people on drug charges, but the most shocking of those came at about 1 o'clock this morning when a man answered the door to a residence with a syringe in his mouth, trying to light it, thinking it was a cigarette. On Wednesday, deputies with the Martin County Sheriff's Office received a tip on the whereabouts of 19-year-old Charles Crum, who had an active warrant for his arrest. They went to that home in the Tomahawk community about 1 a.m. Thursday morning and were surprised when he came to the door. He had a syringe in his uh, mouth and he was trying to light it. He thought it was a cigarette. We was like, what are you trying to do? He said, I'm trying to light my cigarette. We was like, it ain't no cigarette, buddy. You're lighting a needle. Deputies also discovered Crum had thrown a syringe onto the floor loaded with a drug believed to be Suboxone. Yeah, he had run in a bedroom where an elder, elderly female subject was, and he threw a syringe in the floor. It was uncapped with the needle sticking up. She could have easily stepped on it. Two other people in the home were also arrested, including Crum's 23-year-old sister, Sheena Crum, and 24-year-old Sean Harless. All three remain lodged in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center in Paintsville on various drug charges. Earlier in the night, deputies arrested a couple at their Inez home on Moore Branch and charged them with manufacturing meth. Deputy Todd says their original plan was to only arrest 38-year-old Joshua Vance on an outstanding warrant, but they also arrested his wife, 42-year-old Angela Vance, after discovering the pair had been manufacturing meth. We could smell meth strong coming from the residence. It just kept us from having to go get a search warrant. So meth, you can't miss it. It's got a really strong odor when they're cooking. In the past 48 hours, a total of 12 people have been arrested by the Martin County Sheriff's Office, with eight of them now facing drug charges. In Inez, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.